scenario of our amphibians. The word amphibians means double life because when they're young, they live in water. And then when they become adults, they start to live on land. The process that changes an amphibian from a gilled animal to a land animal that has arms is called metamorphosis. During metamorphosis, changes occur to their respiratory system. Young amphibians have gills, adults have lungs. They can also have thin moist skin that helps them breathe. They can exchange common dioxide and oxygen through their skin. Changes to the circulatory system also occurs during metamorphosis. The hearts change from two chambers to three. There are two major groups of amphibians. Ones that do have tails in their adulthood, like an axolotl, and ones that don't have tails in their adulthood, like frogs and toads. Frogs are a tailless amphibian. They have smooth, moist skin, they live near water, and lay their eggs in water where they are fertilized externally. Tadpoles hatch with the gills and tails, but develop lungs and reabsorb their tails during metamorphosis. Frogs are ectothermic, which means temperatures affect their activity. In the winter, when they are inactive, and they hibernate in mud. In summer, there is another period of period of inactivity called estivation. Frogs eat by shooting out their sticky tongue to catch the prey and bring it back into their mouth. Frogs have two sets of teeth, but do not use their teeth to chew. The teeth keep the live food from escaping. One set of the teeth is called the maxillary teeth on the upper jaw. The other set, the bomarine teeth, is at the front of the roof of the mouth. Frogs have a highly developed nervous system that consists of a brain, uh, spinal cord, and nerves. Here's a diagram. Here's a diagram of a frog's excitatory system. This is where they get rid of body waste. Tailed amphibians like an ocelot and salamanders keep their tails in their adulthood. Some never even develop one and just keep their gills. Their thin voice skin helps in gas exchange just like tailless amphibians. Many secrete distasteful substances to deter predators. If you hold a salamander that does this, your fingers could go numb. I know I told you there's only two groups of amphibians, but there's a third, Sicilian. They have a tail and no feet, and they look like a worm. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned a lot about amphibians. Here are a couple of funny videos of frogs.